morning, welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for April the 2nd, Tuesday in Easter week. Morning prayer begins on page 80. <clears throat> Alleluia, Christ is risen. On this day, the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, open our lips. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not of the old leaven, leaven of malice and evil. But with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Hallelujah. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin. And the lives of God in Jesus Christ are all. Hallelujah. Christ has been raised from the dead. The first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Hallelujah, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore. Him. Psalm point for this morning is Psalm 103. <clears throat> Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities. He redeems your life from the grave and crowns you with mercy and loving kindness. He satisfies you with good things, and your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all rest. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. He will not always accuse us, nor will he keep his anger forever. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so is his mercy great upon those who fear him. As a father cares for his children, so does the Lord care for those who fear him. Our days are like the grass. We flourish like a flower of the field. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures forever on those who fear him and his righteousness on children's children. Those who keep his covenant, remember his commandments, and do them. The Lord has set his throne in heaven, and his kingship has dominion over all. Hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Reading from the <clears throat> Now, when Jesus rose on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. She went out and told those who had been with him as they mourned and wept. But when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they would not believe him. After this, he appeared in another form to two of them as they were walking into the country. They went back and told the rest, but they did not believe them. Afterward, he appeared to the eleven themselves as they sat at table. He upbraided them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they did not believe those who saw him after he had risen. And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to the whole creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, 
they will speak in new tongues. They will pick up serpents. If they drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick, and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the message by the signs that attended it. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 8. <clears throat> I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my Savior. This is my God, and I will praise him. The God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome and renowned, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession, the resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, forever. I believe in God, Father Almighty. Creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from you. For thine is the king, and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Lord, keep this nation under your care. God is justice. Let your way be known upon earth. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us with your O God, who by the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light, grant that we who have been raised with him may abide in his presence and rejoice in the hope of eternal glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be dominion and praise, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, we pray for your church, that filled with the joy of your son's rising, we would proclaim the truth of the resurrection to the whole world. O God of glory, your son's rising fills the world with light and your people's hearts with joy. In the exaltation of this holy season, drive from us the darkness of despair and confusion, that we may live all our days in the power of the victory over death of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. It's time I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings. <laughs>
Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of the Lord. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory through our all ages. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore.